What's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. So last year, easily the best non-sneaker and definitely the one pair I wanted more than any other that I didn't manage to cop was the Salehi Bembry Pollux Clogs. It originally dropped in a cucumber and maneshma colorway, both of them absolutely fire in my opinion. Luckily they did drop in a lot more colorways and they were definitely worth the wait. I will be reviewing the Salehi Pollux Clog in the Stratus colorway. So what's good guys and welcome back to the channel to all of my long-term viewers. Thank you for all your support and if you are new here, my name is Josh. I do sneaker reviews and all kinds of other sneaker content if that is something you're looking for. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping at least three videos a week. I'm also the co-host of a damn good sneaker podcast, the Kickback Pod available on Spotify and Apple Music. Make sure you check that out. And also if you are looking for some how to style type of content, make sure you check out my IG as well. Dropping a lot of content there too. So I finally got myself a pair of these Salehi clogs. They did drop in a trio of colorways. The urchin pair was the other one and I also really like that crocodile pair but eventually I had to go for perhaps the most wearable colorway yet, the Stratus pair. And if you guys missed out on all three of these, don't worry because there are a lot more colorways on the way. There's currently rumored to be up to 20 colorways loaded on the Crocs website ready to go this year. So if you wait it out, eventually you should be able to get a pair for either retail or a pretty good price. I actually did pay resale for my pair. I actually got them from eBay the first time I bought a shoe from there. And I gotta say, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but very surprised by how fast the shipping was from the time I actually placed my bid to receiving it. It was like two days. But let's get back to the review. So over the last couple of years, one trend among sneakerheads has been the rise in popularity of these non-sneakers, specifically these clog type shoes. We saw how popular the Foam Runners have been. Also the Merrill Hydro Mock has been another popular shoe. And that brings us to Crocs, a company that over a decade now has been producing its beloved clogs. And I gotta be completely honest with you guys, I have never been a fan of the clogs. I used to be probably one of the biggest haters. In fact, back during the peak of popularity, like around 2007, 08, I thought that those clogs would just be a fad and then people would stop wearing them. But they have continued to be popular more than a decade later with its low price and its comfort that people swear by. And also what we've seen them do over the last few years is a lot of pretty cool collabs that are even reselling for quite a lot. But despite all those collabs, there was never a pair that I saw and thought to myself, yeah, I need those. That was until Salehi Bembry did his thing. This is a completely different shoe. He completely redesigned this from the ground up. Unlike pretty much all of the other collabs on the Crocs, which pretty much have no changes to the design of the shoe, there's just some extra pendants on it. Or in the case of Jess Staple, a rubber pigeon foot on top. This pair, however, it is completely redesigned. It's a completely different mold. And when I say that Salehi Leahy's fingerprints are all over the shoe, I mean that literally. That is where the design of the shoe came from. It is Salehi's fingerprint, which I think is amazing. If you want people to know that you designed the shoe, what better way than make the entire shoe your fingerprint? And I think it looks amazing. There's all these different ridges on the shoe molding to his fingerprint, but you also got some holes in there in the right places for that right amount of ventilation. Of course, these are a great summertime shoe. The material used on this upper is the same material they use pretty much on all pairs of Crocs. It's this resin type of material. It is quite comparable to a Yeezy foam runner and on feet this foam feels very comfortable. Underneath this clog you see this rubber padding which also extends and goes over the big toe and this is great because it adds quite a bit of traction to the shoe and it's also good for durability purposes. The pair also comes with this gray colored strap at the back and unlike the original two colorways which came with an extra strap, this pair just comes with this one strap. However, I do think it does contrast quite well with the shoe while not being too loud. And honestly, thank God for this strap because let's get into sizing right now. As someone who's never worn a pair of Crocs before, I didn't really know what size to get. I ended up going with my true size, which is of course a US size. 11 and guys let me just say it didn't fit me at all they were way too big so I ended up buying this pair right here in a size 10 this is the one I got from eBay and even going a whole size down they're still not like a perfect fit I still feel like it is slightly loose thankfully though the strap does help so I am actually 
tightening the strap to give me more of a perfect type of feel. This shoe only does come in full sizes, so my sizing advice for you guys is definitely go down a full size. Now, a lot of people have told me this. I haven't tried this myself. However, from what I heard, you can throw this shoe in your dryer and it will shrink quite a bit to give you a more perfect fit. You can watch some YouTube videos on this topic. Once again, it is not my recommendation to do that because I've never done it myself. If any of you guys have actually done it, leave a comment down below and confirm that it's true. Looking at what these are going for on the resale market right now. So what I paid for this shoe was 150. The Stratus colorway seems to be the colorway that is reselling for the most. The prices are anywhere between 150 to 200 and the other two colorways are slightly lower than that and these prices if you compare it to what those original two colorways are going for then these are an absolute steal if you do that comparison I am so thankful about these low prices because there was no way I was gonna pay 500 for a pair of Crocs I personally didn't want to wait I just wanted to go ahead and cop a pair however my honest advice to you guys is don't even pay resale for these because like I said there might be up to 20 more colorways dropping and like resale prices for those are gonna be even lower you might even be able to get them for retail if you wait long enough so I don't know if I would pay too much in resale for any of these colorways right now unless you're able to get them for a really really good price but that's just my opinion if you don't want to wait you just want to go ahead and cop of course I will leave a StockX link in the description so what are my overall thoughts on the Salehi Bembry Pollux clog so for me I think it's pretty obvious that over the last couple of years Salehi Bembry has established himself as one of the very best collaborators out there pretty much everything he's worked on whether it be these new balances you see back here even that collab he did for Anta he seems to have a pretty incredible eye for design I'm obviously a huge fan because of him I did something I never thought I would do which is pay resale for a pair of Crocs I think these look amazing these are probably gonna end up being my most worn summertime shoe yeah at least so far this year probably my favorite pickup so definitely these are a cop do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so it really helps me out Thank you guys once again for supporting the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.